Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye, sh ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Ye shall know that the Lord is in the midst of who? Israel. Caucasian. Israel. East Indian. Israel. Asian. Israel. The Lord is in the midst of the children of Israel. Meaning that the Lord is only with blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You understand? Continue. And that, and that, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. He is the Lord. Who's God? Your God and none else. And none else. God only cares about blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. So where the hell do we get this out of the Bible that Jesus loves everybody? Christ died for everybody's sins. That's not in the Bible. Give me Romans 9 and 13. Let me show you that God hates in this Bible. God do not love everybody. That's a goddamn lie. And Christianity has destroyed our people by telling us BS that the oppressor told them to tell us. Yes, right. That that funny? Give me Romans 9 and 13. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written. As it is written. Where is it written? In the Old Testament. And I'm going to give you that scripture right after my brother read this one. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have the Lord loved. The Lord loves the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel who come from our forefather Jacob. Continue. But Esau have I hated. Esau has he what? Have I hated. Caucasian people the Lord has what? Have I hated. The God of this Bible does not love everybody because it says clear as day in Romans 9 and the 13th chapter that the Lord hates, you understand, a certain nation of people. And it says, as it is written. Where is it written? In the Old Testament. Give me uh, Malachi 1 and 2. You understand? Because you, you Christians fail to realize that the God of the Bible does not change. He always had a chosen people. He always will have a chosen people. And there's always going to be a people on planet Earth that God hates. You That's understand? Right. Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. What are you reading out of, sir? What, what, what book is this we reading out of? Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. But I'll continue. I have loved you, said the Lord. He has loved the children of Israel, say of God. You understand? Yet he has said, wherein thou hast loved us. Right, was Esau not Jacob's brother? Was Esau not Jacob's brother? You understand? Esau and Jacob came out of the same world. They had the same mother and father. But what did the Lord do? Say of the Lord, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. He hated who? Esau. He loved Esau. He hated Esau. He hated Esau. So why are you talking about in this Bible that God loves everybody? When the Lord said it out of his own goddamn mouth that he hates you goddamn oppressors. He hates Matter of fact, give me Job 9 and 24. You understand? I don't think y'all understand how serious this Bible is. You understand? You got these Christian pastors shucking and jiving every goddamn Sunday for the oppressor and not telling you the truth that's in this Bible. You understand? Caucasian people are the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's you are right. rapers, robbers, murderers, and thieves of the goddamn earth. You understand? Continue. You got that for me? Jacob chapter 9, verse 24. Job 9, Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who runs planet Earth? Caucasian men in suits. Y'all run the whole goddamn planet Earth. You fix laws. You understand? You stole every goddamn nation that you sit on today. You understand? Read that from the top again. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Do Christ love wicked people? He don't love evil? What is evil according to the Bible? Read that. The earth is given. It don't matter what evil means to me. It matter what evil means to God. And I'm going to show you what it means. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of who? Of the wicked. Is it evil to be wicked? Is it evil to be wicked? What is wicked? Theft, murder, robbery, raping people. That's what Caucasian people have done throughout history. Am I right or wrong? Did not Christopher Columbus come to this land and enslave the indigenous? It could be white, it could be purple, but it all starts from Caucasian people. It all starts from Caucasian.
crazy people. Because you know who taught people how to be wicked? Caucasian people. You understand? So what are you saying? Where is that in the Bible at? Where do you see that in the Bible? So do you believe in the first one I ask you, what do, you, do you believe in the Bible? What's your nationality? In the name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. Okay, that's not. Give me, give me our set for a sword. What's that? Matthew chapter 10. What's that? Give me. Matthew chapter 10, verse 47. All right, go ahead. 47. 10, 42, go ahead. I know, Matthew. Where is that at? Right? Find that for me. But basically, if you know who Jesus Christ was, if you know who Yahweh Shai Mashiach was, in the Bible, you will realize that he was not a man of peace. He didn't love every nation. That's a lie that's been perpetrated by the Christian church. So, did we ever say that? No, we're not saying that. We're saying that salvation was for one nation of people. We both can't talk at the same time. I hear you out, I'll let you talk, but you don't have to let me talk. We out here doing a job. We was out here sent by the Lord. You came up to what we're doing, what we're teaching, right? You have an issue with what we're teaching. There's no problem. You know what I'm saying? She can, she can talk. But what we're saying is, is that the things that you're believing is not true according to the Bible. Go ahead and read. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I come to say peace. Not that I come to send peace. Who is speaking right here? This is Jesus Christ. The words are written in red. Yeah. Think not that I come to send peace. I come not to send peace, but a sword. So there have been millions of crimes that have been going on in Plano since the beginning of time. You heard about World War I, World War II, transatlantic slavery. Are you mean to tell me that God will never bring justice to Planet Earth for all the evil that's happened on Planet Earth? Do you believe that? The book of Revelation says Christ is going to come back and bring back bloodshed to planet Earth. He's going to put death to, he's going to put to death the people that are enemies of Christ. He says, I didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. His mission was to come and help his nation of people. Give me Matthew 1 and 21. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Against what? Abortion? Abortion is evil. Abortion is something that all uh, persons have pushed upon us to murder and ch kill the children of those the former slaves, man. Because they hate blacks and Latinos. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yehoshua. This is a prophecy about Jesus Christ when he was born. It says that Mary will bring forth the son, and she will call his name Jesus Christ. Say that name. And thou shalt bring forth the son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people. He shall save who? His people. He shall save his people. The children of Israel. Yasharala in the Hebrew. Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. The white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. He is the oppressor according to the Bible. And he is going to get put into chains for a thousand years. And then Christ is going to put him to death after that. Give me Obadiah. Give me Obadiah chapter 7, man. See, the Christian church is, matter of fact, somebody hand me that sign, huh? Go ahead, hand me that sign, baby. Go ahead, man. No, black men, white, this, Chinese, this is, Jamaican. Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Oh, but die one and nine. Really? You don't love us. You don't love black people. You don't love Latino people. You know how we know you don't love people? So, so you say she don't love black and Latino. You know how dumb that sounds? You know how ignorant that sounds? You know how dumb that sounds? You know how dumb that sounds? You know how dumb that sounds? You think to tell me, hey, I'll show you how dumb it sounds, man. I'm going to throw that down. Look, look, listen to what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. No, the Bible says, damn your people. The Bible says you're going into captivity. Right. Can somebody be sexist? Can a man be sexist towards women? I'm asking you. Sexist is a word, right? You said racist. What does sexism mean? What does sexism mean? What does sexist mean? What does sexist mean? Are you an intelligent man? Do you understand English? What does it mean to be sexist? Somebody can be a man and married to a woman and be sexist. Is that true or is that not true? See what I'm saying? This is the devil that comes out of people. These are the demons that are all people. And that's why she's dealing with a demon. He put demons inside of him, man. You see what I'm saying? 
These are the people that love Jesus, the people that try to attack you when you tell them that God hates them. Go ahead and read. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 9. And thy mighty men, O demon, shall be dismayed. Shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau shall be cut off by slaughter. That every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. That's what's going to happen to your oppressor. That's what's going to happen to the so called white man. In the last days, he's going to be cut off by slaughter. For what? Keep going. And for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. See, she wants to make racism about being black or white, the skin color that you have, blonde hair, blue eyes. The Lord does not hate white people because of the color of their skin or because of the, the color of their eyes. The Lord hates white people because of the content of their character. The Lord hates white people because of the violence they did against their brother Jacob. And that's why they're going to be put to death by slaughter. Thus saith the Lord, man. This is the time for blacks and Latinos to wake up. Stop being a slave. Stop being a slave in this place. You have been treated by, by your oppressor like a slave and like an animal for over 400 years. And you've been taught to love, 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 but the only people you don't love are your brothers, man. The only people that you don't love are fellow blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. If you love us, then you will, you will go out and give us everything that you got. Look at him right here. Go ahead, what's your name? You don't even live your life for the Lord. You don't love your neighbor. You're so full of hate. Give me a so full of hate, you think you're so right. Out, man. One day you're going to stand before Jesus Christ. This, this is what's going on out here in, in uh, San Francisco, California. You see how these people are, man. They know their subtlety. Matter of fact, Psalm 55 and 21. We're going to show you who he is. You can tell that he wants to put us to death. You can see the demons on this devil. But he's a goddamn child of us and a child of You look like you're saying, saying methamphetamines, man. Go ahead and read. The words of his mouth were sweeter than butter. They talk nice. They say God loves everyone. We are all hands with all people. Jesus died to save every nation of people. Go ahead and read. But war was in his heart. Where was his love when black people were getting killed in the subway in New York City? Where was his love when Chamber of Murder was shot by his visitor? It's a joke for him. Your life and your death is a joke to him. That's why he is the devil the Bible speaks of. You see that he comes and acts like a Christian and he mocks the Bible. He mocks the men of the Lord. He mocks the death and destruction and the pain and suffering that happens to black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians in this place, man. That's why hellfire is coming to San Francisco. Just like ancient Egypt is no more a great nation, America will be the same way. Pier 39 will be destroyed by fire and nuclear warfare, man. Go ahead. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil. Yet they, they drew sword. His words were salted in the air, but yet they draw swords. In their heart and in their mind, they say all of these things that sound nice and sound sweet, sound so great, but in reality, when he goes home, he goes to a different zip code than you. When he goes, gets pulled over by the police, they treat him differently. He sat by and watched the oppression of all people for years and years and years and does nothing about it, but these are supposed to be men of the Lord. These are supposed to be men of God. These are nothing but a bunch of charlatans and street hustlers. That's what they're out here doing. They're having a concert. They figured a way to make money out of the people of San Francisco. They used to go on the streets and put cardboard down and break dance. Now they come out and they put out their microphones. They done remixed I Got Five on it. They done remixed all the good songs that black people made. And they suck and jive and they want to get money because this is entertainment, man. We can give a damn about entertaining people. We are here to save the lives of all people who Christ gave up his life for, man. Christ didn't die for you to go and be a slave and work for some oppressor. Christ died so that you can be free and rule over your oppressor, man. That's what he gave up his life for. Where's he going with this shit? Where's he going with this shit? <laughs> Oh, no, you belong to somebody who... Plus 
tonight You belong to me I'm from One West Headquarters Follow my captain's orders Live in the land of pain and torture No straw but they want they mortar Tell Trump, fuck borders P.S. Prepare for slaughter Never take they sons and daughters Never give them all in return Niggas never wanna learn Till they laying in the urn Babylon, Babylon, Babylon You got to burn Even if I gotta go with it so fuck it, is you with it? Niggas never feel froggy, they just wanna rip it If I see a bad bitch, then I gotta rip it Your lip looking like the Red Sea when I split it hmm. Tell me why that flow so vicious Every time he switches Beat a nigga ass like mama did with switches You niggas look a real, real gay